Hello everyone, this is Manoj Roy. Uh, today's topic is limit of accuracy. Uh, this topic normally comes in O levels paper 4024 or in paper 1. So it means you cannot use the calculator, first of all. Uh, this topic uh, I found uh, much easy, uh, easier for the students, but actually the explanation to understand is how we can uh, find the limits, the lower bound and the upper bound of any of the number. So I would like to use one example, first of all, like uh, suppose, how uh, can you Right, five from two significant numbers to numbers. This question is very important. Uh, why did I write this? That's five actually. Uh, you have a number suppose uh, when you round off that is becoming five so what is the uh, what are the numbers you can think about 4.6 4.6 the estimation in uh, like uh, from two this two significant figures and you want to write five like one significant figure so 4.6 will become five any un other number you guess like 4.8 is also giving five okay so it means uh, what is the minimum number that will give you five uh, the minimum number will be definitely yes 4.5 will give you five okay good then 5.1 will also give you five yeah okay and then 5.3 will also give you five okay good uh, what is the maximum this is the minimum number and what is the maximum number that will give you five Mm, 5.4 will give uh, also 5 but when I write 5.5 that will make 6 but uh, we required 5 not 6 so it means the maximum number is 5.4 okay so what I'm writing here that when you want to get 5 from two significant number so the minimum minimum value minimum number should be 4.5 okay I mean your number should be 4.5 or 4.6 you can have 5 but uh, uh, not 4.4 minimum 4.5 and maximum number and equals to 5.4 okay it means your number should the range this the range should be from 4.5 to 5.4 what is the difference between 5 and 4.5 this is 0 0.5 and what is the difference between 5 and 5.4 is 0 0.4 and this difference is not equal okay just remember this sign this means this should be equal to or less than 5.4 not more than 5.4 okay so can we write once again Okay, this is okay, 4.5, 4.5 is okay. But when I write not equal to, like uh, not equal to only less than, so can we write 5.5? Like 5.5? Because 5.5 will give a 6. But the number should be less than 5.5 means 5.4 is okay. But the difference is now 0 0.5. And here is also 0 0.5. Oh, that's good. So it means whenever uh, we want to write the limit of accuracy, this should be equals to and this should not be equal to like is only less than. But the difference is equal. This is called the lower bound. The lower bound to the lower bound. And this is called the upper bound. And this 0 0.5, this is called possible error this was the, actually the explanation this what do you mean by limit of accuracy but was the method to find the limit of accuracy uh, I will I would like to discuss the method now uh, 
Uh, method is very simple. Uh, I will use two things together. One example, one uh, the method, the formula. You can suppose any number uh, written. Th this is very important. It will be given the question. Any number written. This statement is very important. Written direct to the nearest. x centimeter and I am using the same here uh, one example any number written correct to nearest uh, suppose nearest uh, I can write nearest uh, 5 centimeter and the number here, any number, I can suppose any number, you can suppose 20. 20 centimeter written correct with the nearest 5 centimeter. This is an example and this is the formula I'm making for the method to understand. Okay. What's the method? Any number, any number, when it's given x centimeter, the x should be always divided by 2. So what is here? 5. So 5 divided by 2 is what? 2.5. And this is called the possible error. Now, this 2.5, this is this is the method to find. This is this we can find the possible error. Any number, any number, correct to the nearest x, correct to the nearest 1 centimeter. Centimeter means 1. 2 cm, 5 cm, 10 cm, this should be always divided by 2. So here 5 cm divided by 2 is 2.5. This is possible error. Now, when you want to find the lower bound and the upper bound, so what you have to do, this is the normal method, just we write 20 here. And just write here. This is the way this you can write. This is the uh, 20 minus 2.5. This 20 minus 2.5 will give you 17.5 and 20 plus 2.5 will give you 22.5. This is called the lower bound and this is upper bound. This is the method to find and just you can check 17.5 and you this is how many significant figures? Three significant figures and you want to write like uh, nearest to 5 so Nearest to 5 means what you can write 17.5 will become what uh, nearest 5 means 5, 10, 15, 20. So that will become 20 and this 22.5. Uh, so now please just remember one thing 20 is equals to and greater than what I'm writing here 17.5. Your number should be more than 17.5 or less than 7. And please here don't write equals to. When you write equals to, that will give you 25. So that's a, one more example I would like to give. Uh, example number one, example number two I'm writing here. Uh, 10 centimeter is written correct to the nearest centimeter this centimeter means there is one so what we can write was the method possible error one divided by two is 0 0.5 okay now 0 0.5 10 i will write 10 here and this two lines 10 minus 0 0.5 is 9.5 and 10 plus 0 0.5 is 10.5 this is called the lower bond and this is called the upper bond this is the method for example one more example i would like uh, example number three 8.5 centimeter is written correct to the the nearest this statement is very important correct to the nearest means this is limit of accuracy nearest 0.1 or sometimes they will write 1 upon 10 or even we can say 10th 10th 
टेंथ ऑफ सेंटीमीटर ऑल मीनिंग्स आर सेम टेंथ जीरो पॉइंट वन और वन पॉइंट टेन सो वॉज द मैथड दिस शुड बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दिस इज योर पॉसिबल एरर द वॉज द मैथड द मैथड इज एट पॉइंट फाइव टू लाइन्स आई विल ड्रॉ एट पॉइंट फाइव माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव विल गिव यू एट पॉइंट फोर सॉरी यस एट पॉइंट फोर फाइव एंड वेन आई प्लस इट विल गिव यू एट पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो दिस इज लोअर बॉन्ड एंड दिस इज अपर बॉन्ड दिस इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट द होल टॉपिक आई हैव वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल फॉर यू एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज द एग्जाम्पल इज ओके आई कैन राइट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल हेयर आई हैव ए रेक्टेंगल एंड रेक्टेंगल द लेंथ इज करेक्ट टू द नियरेस्ट दिस इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर बट इट्स गिवन करेक्ट टू द नियरेस्ट सेंटीमीटर दिस इज गिवन एंड द एरिया ऑफ एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल इज सॉरी रेक्टेंगल इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर करेक्ट टू द नियरेस्ट सेंटीमीटर वेन ओनली करेक्ट टू द नियरेस्ट सेंटीमीटर मीन दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन वॉज द मैथड एंड ओके एंड दे आर टू फाइंड फाइंड द लीस्ट लीस्ट मीन्स लोअर बाउंड लीस्ट पॉसिबल breadth and largest largest possible means upper bound possible breadth of this rectangle okay this is very very important example because we have to find the breadth by dividing so it means what the normal formula for area of a rectangle length into breadth okay now what's the method the method is we always for the possible error for the possible error what we do we divide 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 this is also 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 so first of all the length is 5 what is the lower bond and what is the upper bond this is very important the lower bond Uh, uh, five centimeter uh, minus zero point five is giving us four point five centimeter, and when we plus is giving us five point five centimeter. Okay, now area area is twenty centimeter square. Was the lower bond and the upper bond? The lower bond uh, when we uh, like twenty the zero point five minus this is nineteen point five centimeter square. and the upper bond will be 20.5 cm square okay now the question is that we need to find the lower bond and the upper bond please do not do like this to find the area first by multiplying like uh, sorry by uh, when you want to find uh, breadth then divide area by length no first of all now the question is area is length into breadth and we are finding breadth so breadth will be equals to area divided by length i will not use this area 20 and not use this length 5 i have to use all the value after the calculation after making lower bond and the upper bond okay just remember one thing please this is very important part note it down what do you want to find least and lar largest both the things when you want to find least value like a small value is small divided by big and when you want to find the big value when you want to find the big value bigger value big divided by small this is very important part in limit of accuracy now suppose here uh breadth is area upon length but when you want to find least least breadth possible breadth so what least means small small upon big i will use least area least means lower bond of area 
an upper bond of length so what is the lower bond of area lower bond of area is 19.5 divided by upper bond of length is 5.5 this is very i will not use both the small values both the lower uh, bound for area and length to find the breadth no in division there is no problem in multiplication or in addition but in division or in subtraction you have to keep in your mind the same method that is in subtraction in subtraction also big minus small will give us big and small small minus big this is very important just to note it down i will discuss uh, later or like in like some example okay so what is the least breadth possible breadth when i divide 19.5 and for this is 3.5 centimeters okay now i am finding uh, the largest possible breadth formula is same area divided by length but largest means i have to use large area large area means upper bond of area divided by and lower bond of length what is the upper bond of area upper bond of area is 20.5 20.5 20 20.5 20 here and lower bond of length is lower bond of length is here 4.5 okay so it means the largest possible breadth uh, of this rectangle is 20.5 divided by 4.5 is 4.6 centimeter so please uh, do not do like this that find the breadth first by area and divide and then make the uh, lower bond and upper bond this is not the right method this is the easiest way and this is most imp important example uh, this uh, i discuss uh, one more thing just i have one uh, question in my mind uh, uh, this about the triangle this uh, uh, we have a triangle like uh, all angles are given 20 third like uh, this is this was very important example i have seen in uh, like uh, in ca paper when you want to find the largest angle of theta so theta means 180 minus if you want to find the largest largest angle this should be small angles because when you want to find when you want to use x and y like you can just largest angle a small angle should be subtracted from 180 and when you want to find the smallest angle the smallest angle what do you want to do 180 minus these two angles should be big angles okay uh, thank you so much for uh, like watching this and I hope that you like my video and when you think this uh, is uh, good for you and this is uh, like uh, uh, let's uh, understand the topic limit of accuracy please like my channel subscribe my channel and please uh, uh, share with your friends that's uh, and I'll be making more videos also like uh, and I will also make a special uh, limit of accuracy question from the past series. thank you so much have a nice day